He is known for being a multi-talented English mathematician, astronomer, and astrologer. He is recognized for his role as the court astronomer and advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, as well as his expertise in alchemy and divination. His name is John D. In the realm of occult and supernatural pursuits, one name stands out, John D., an English mathematician, astronomer, and astrologer. Serving as the court astronomer and advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, Dee's life was shrouded in mystery and intrigue. His pursuits ranged from alchemy to divination, and his vast knowledge made him an influential figure in Elizabethan England. With one of the largest libraries in the country, Dee's thirst for knowledge knew no bounds. But Dee's journey took a tumultuous turn when he ventured deeper into the world of the occult. Associating himself with questionable individuals and embarking on travels across Europe, he was even accused of spying for the English crown. Upon returning home, he was met with a devastating sight, his cherished home and library had been vandalized. Despite these setbacks, Dee sought solace in the service of Queen Elizabeth once again, only to be turned away when James I ascended the throne. Tragically, Dee passed away in poverty in London, and his final resting place remains a mystery. John Dee's life serves as a reminder of the enigmatic and unpredictable nature of the occult. His pursuit of knowledge and his involvement in the political landscape of his time left an indelible mark on history. Although his legacy may be tinged with uncertainty, his contributions to mathematics, astronomy, and astrology continue to captivate the minds of scholars and enthusiasts alike. In his quest to strengthen England and expand its influence, John Dee advocated for the establishment of colonies in the New World. Dee's manuscript, Britannicae Rea Publici Synopsis, outlined the state of the Elizabethan realm and emphasized the importance of trade, ethics, and national strength. In 1576, Dee published the first volume of his unfinished series, General and Rare Memorials Pertaining to the Perfect Arte of Navigation. Through a symbolic frontispiece, Dee depicted Britannia kneeling by the shore, imploring Queen Elizabeth I to protect the nation by bolstering the navy. Dee drew on the inclusion of Ireland in King Arthur's conquests to argue for the existence of a British Empire abroad. He believed that the establishment of colonies would not only enhance England's economic prosperity but also require a strong navy for protection. While Dee is often credited with coining the term British Empire, it is worth noting that Humphrey LLWID had used it earlier in his Commentarioli Britannicae Descriptionis Fragmentum, published in 1568. Nevertheless, Dee's efforts in promoting English colonization were significant. Dee even made a formal claim to North America, based on a map he drew between 1577 and 1580. He mentioned that in 1494, Robert Thorne and Mr. Elliot of Bristol had discovered newfound land. In his title royal of 1580, Dee went so far as to assert that the legendary figure Maddox of Owain Gwynett had discovered America, aiming to strengthen England's claim to the New World against Spain's. Dee further argued that British historical figures such as Brutus of Britain and King Arthur had also conquered lands in the Americas, establishing a prior claim that Elizabeth I, as their heir, could assert. John Dee's advocacy for the establishment of colonies in the New World was driven by his belief in the economic benefits and security they could bring to England. His ideas and claims laid the foundation for England's future colonial expansion and shaped its ambitions in the Americas. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.